Hey guys, it's bedtime story time. And tonight's story is the spoon necklace. Once there was a kitten who had two brothers, three sisters, and a father. Mrs. Calico lived with them. She did the cooking and the cleaning and the washing. Just like all kittens, this kitten liked to eat mouse pudding and fish and liver, but she was always losing her spoon. Every night at the supper table, she asked, where's my spoon? Her two brothers and her three sisters and her father and Mrs. Calico all helped the little kitten look for her spoon. They looked under the napkins and the bowls and the table. By the time they found the spoon, the supper was cold. How careless you are, said the kitten's sisters. Why do you always lose your spoon? Because I can't remember where I put it last, said the little kitten. Then why don't you wear it around your neck as a necklace, said her brothers. And the kitten's sisters and brothers laughed and laughed at the thought of it. But the little kitten did not laugh. Her little eyes lit up like stars. Her little tail fluttered excitedly. What a good idea, she said. If I wore my spoon around my neck as a necklace, I wouldn't have to worry that it was lost under a napkin or a bowl or the table. I'd have it with me all the time. So the little kitten ran to Mrs. Calico. Mrs. Calico, she said, may I wear my spoon as a necklace so I won't lose it? Spoon necklace? said Mrs. Calico, blinking her eyes. Who ever heard of a cat wearing a spoon around its neck? Spoon necklace, said her sisters and brothers, and they all laughed again. But the little kitten paid no attention to them. She ran to her father. Daddy, she said, may I wear my spoon as a necklace so I won't lose it? Her father did not laugh. Her father did not blink his eyes. Her father said, of course you may wear your spoon as a necklace. So the next day, the little kitten's father took her to the jewelry store with her spoon. And they marched through the door. All the people turned and stared at them. The jeweler came over. Are you looking for someone? He asked. No, said the little kitten's father. We're not looking for anyone. My little kitten wants to wear her spoon as a necklace. Do you have a chain? The jeweler did not laugh. The jeweler did not blink his eyes. The jeweler said, wait here a minute. Then he went to the end of a long glass counter. He came back with a little white box and took off the cover. Inside was a gold chain. The little kitten looked at her spoon. It was silver. She looked at her father. Daddy, she said, I need a silver chain to match my spoon. Why, of course, said her father. You must have a silver chain to match your spoon. He asked the jeweler, do you have a silver chain? I'll look and see, said the jeweler, taking the gold chain away. He came back with a shiny silver chain. How happy the little kitten was. The silver chain matched her spoon perfectly. But then she frowned. Oh, dear said the jeweler. Is there a problem? Yes, 
said the little kitten. How can I get my spoon on this chain? We'll fix that, said the jeweler. Come with me. The little kitten and her father went with the jeweler to the back of the store. With a small drill, the jeweler drilled a tiny hole in the handle of the little kitten's spoon. Then he laced the chain through the hole and fastened the spoon necklace around her neck. The little kitten was very pleased with her spoon necklace. Shall I wrap it? asked the jeweler. Oh, no, said the little kitten. I want to wear it now. Her father laughed. All right, he said. So out scampered the little kitten. Her spoon necklace glistened in the sunlight. When the little kitten, when the little kitten and her father got home, her sisters and her brothers admired the spoon necklace. They did not laugh. Instead, they ran and got their spoons. Daddy, they cried, we want spoon necklaces too. The father cat laughed. I'll see what I can do, he said. And so, the next night at the supper table, who was wearing spoon necklaces besides the little kitten? All of her sisters and her brothers and even Mrs. Calico. The end. Have you ever lost something and you wish you could make it into a necklace or have it where you could find it more easily? I don't know if I've ever wished that I could make it into a necklace. But I'm sh I know I've lost stuff. Okay, thank you for joining me. Good night, and I will see you again the next time. Love you guys.